Imagine holding a book filled with undecipherable text and mysterious imagery. Welcome to the world of the Voynich Manuscript. In the realm of unsolved mysteries, the Voynich Manuscript is a class of its own. This peculiar artifact, named after its discoverer Wilfred Voynich, is a codex that has baffled and intrigued researchers for more than a hundred years. It's an enigma that pushes the boundaries of our understanding, a puzzle that continues to defy every attempt at decipherment. Picture this, a book around 235 pages long. Its pages, made from vellum, a type of parchment, are filled with text written in an unknown script. But it's not just the text that's peculiar. The manuscript is teeming with strange, exotic illustrations. It's a veritable carnival of bizarre botanicals, unknown constellations, and enigmatic figures. The manuscript seems to be divided into sections, each with its own theme. From botanical to astronomical, from biological to cosmological, it's as though the manuscript is a compendium of knowledge from an alien world. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. Despite the efforts of countless cryptographers, linguists, and even code-breaking computers, the manuscript's text remains a mystery. The script, now known as Voynichisi, doesn't match any known language or code. It's as if the manuscript is laughing in the face of our collective intelligence, daring us to crack its secrets. And so, the Voynich manuscript sits at the intersection of history, mystery, and the unexplained. It's a tangible reminder of the limits of our understanding, a testament to the enigmatic nature of knowledge itself. A book that exists yet cannot be read. A story that is told yet cannot be understood. A mystery that is known yet remains unsolved. In the hands of many yet understood by none, this is the story of the Voynich Manuscript. Our journey begins in 1912 in a castle in southern Italy. In the heart of this ancient fortress, nestled between the rustic stone walls, a book lay waiting, shrouded in mystery and obscurity. This was no ordinary book, but the soon-to-be-named Voynich Manuscript, a cryptic puzzle that continues to baffle scholars and cryptographers to this day. The discovery of the manuscript was quite the serendipitous event. The man behind this remarkable find was Wilfred Voynich, a Polish revolutionary antiquarian and bibliophile. Voynich stumbled upon this enigmatic manuscript while sifting through a chest of old books in the castle. With the parchment's strange illustrations and unrecognizable script, Voynich was immediately captivated. He knew he had found something extraordinary, something that could potentially change the course of history. From the moment he laid eyes on the manuscript, Voynich was consumed by a relentless desire to decipher its content. He spent countless hours poring over the pages, attempting to unlock the secrets hidden within the cryptic symbols and illustrations. The manuscript's unique script, now known as Voynichesi, was like nothing he had ever seen. It was a language or code seemingly undecipherable, a maze of symbols that defied all attempts at understanding. Voynich was not deterred by the complexity of the manuscript. He reached out to experts in various fields, from cryptographers to linguists, botanists to historians, all in an effort to shed light on the manuscript's origin and meaning. He even took it upon himself to learn multiple languages, hoping to find a linguistic key that could unlock the manuscript's cryptic script. However, despite his perseverance and tireless efforts, Voynich was met with a wall of impenetrability. No matter how he approached it, the manuscript remained a closed book, its secrets carefully guarded. The more he delved into it, the more elusive the answers seemed to become. It was a puzzle, a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a labyrinth with no end in sight. Despite numerous attempts, Voynich was unable to crack the code. His quest had only just begun. The Voynich Manuscript, a testament to human curiosity and the allure of the unknown, continues to spark intrigue and fascination, its mysteries waiting to be unraveled. From Italy to America, the manuscript has been a globetrotter. And so, our story continues, tracing the footsteps of the Voynich Manuscript. After it was unearthed from the dusty shelves of an Italian villa, the manuscript was acquired by an antiquarian bookseller named Wilfred Voynich in the early 20th century. Voynich, captivated by the manuscript's peculiarities, spent many years attempting to unravel its secrets, but to no avail. The manuscript, in its cryptic language and illustrations, 
remained an enigma. Following Voynich's death, the manuscript was passed on to his widow, Ethel Voynich. She too found herself entranced by the manuscript's mystery, but like her husband, was unable to crack its code. In the mid-20th century, the manuscript found its way to America. It was purchased by a book dealer named Hans P. Krauss, who later donated it to Yale University's Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library. The manuscript, now known as Beinecke MS-408, continues to mystify scholars and cryptographers at Yale and beyond. Over the years, the manuscript has passed through the hands of many, from emperors to scholars, from cryptographers to historians. Each owner, in their quest to decipher the manuscript, has contributed to its rich tapestry of history. Some have speculated that the manuscript was written by a medieval alchemist, while others believe it to be the work of a far more ancient civilization. There have been countless theories and deciphering attempts, but none have provided a definitive explanation of the manuscript's contents. Its elusive script and peculiar illustrations continue to baffle researchers, making it one of the most enduring puzzles of our time. Despite the countless dead ends and frustrations, the manuscript's journey has not been in vain. Each failure to crack its code has only deepened the mystery surrounding it, sparking new investigations and theories. The manuscript's journey reveals our relentless pursuit of knowledge and the lengths we'll go to solve a mystery. The manuscript's journey is a testament to its allure and the universal human desire to solve mysteries. Its tale is far from over, and who knows? Perhaps you could be the one to finally unlock its secrets. A riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma, the Voynich manuscript has baffled the brightest minds. Our journey into the labyrinth of this cryptic manuscript now takes us to the numerous attempts at deciphering its elusive code. Over the years, both professional cryptographers and amateur enthusiasts have tried their hand at cracking this cipher. Imagine, even the geniuses at Britain's World War II code-breaking center, Bletchley Park, took a swing at it, but walked away shaking their heads in bewilderment. One of the most notable attempts was by William Romain Newbold in the early 20th century. He proposed an interesting theory that each character in the manuscript was actually composed of a series of tiny symbols that could be deciphered using anagramming techniques. Despite his efforts, Newbold's theory was later debunked, leaving us back at square one. Then came the linguists, like Gordon Rugg, who believed that the manuscript might not be a code at all, but a sophisticated hoax. He suggested that the manuscript's text could have been generated using a card and grill, a technique known for creating meaningless but seemingly significant texts. Intriguing, isn't it? And let's not forget about the fascinating theory of botanist Arthur Tucker. He claimed that the plant illustrations in the manuscript corresponded to species in the New World, suggesting that the manuscript could have been created by early European explorers of America. But, like all others, this theory too couldn't stand the test of rigorous scrutiny. The theories about the manuscript's origin and purpose are as myriad as the stars in the night sky. Some suggest it's a medical text, others say it's a work of alchemy, while some even believe it to be an alien artifact, each theory more captivating than the last, adding another layer to the enigma that is the Voynich manuscript. Theories abound, but the truth remains elusive. After all, the allure of the Voynich manuscript lies not in the answers it holds, but in the mysteries it continues to present. In the age of technology, the Voynich manuscript continues to resist decoding, this enigmatic manuscript, with its unknown language and mysterious illustrations, remains a stubborn relic of the past, refusing to reveal its secrets even in the face of modern advancements. Today, the manuscript is housed in the Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library at Yale University. A fortress of knowledge, the Beinecke Library is the perfect home for this baffling historical artifact. Here, it is kept under ideal conditions to preserve its delicate, centuries-old pages. It's a testament to our desire to protect and study the mysteries of our world, regardless of whether we can solve them or not. Despite the many failed attempts to decode it, interest in the Voynich manuscript has not waned. On the contrary, the manuscript continues to attract scholars, cryptographers, and curious minds from around the globe. They come with the hope of being the one to finally solve this enduring puzzle. Modern technology has given these hopefuls new tools in their quest, 
advanced imaging techniques allow us to see the manuscript's pages in ways not possible before. Machine learning algorithms are being trained to recognize patterns in the text, with the hope that they might detect something human eyes have missed. Even the crowdsourcing power of the internet has been harnessed, with online communities dedicated to cracking the Voynich code. Yet, despite these efforts, the manuscript remains undeciphered. Its peculiar language, if it is a language at all, has not yielded to computer analysis any more than it has to human scrutiny. The strange plants and celestial diagrams continue to confound, their meaning as elusive as ever. The Voynich manuscript stands as a testament to the mysteries of our past, a puzzle that, so far, has proven unsolvable. Its very existence challenges our understanding of history, language, and the human mind. As we continue to grapple with its mystery, the Voynich manuscript serves as a humbling reminder of the limits of human knowledge. A tale of intrigue, mystery, and the insatiable human curiosity. This captivating saga of the Voynich manuscript, from its discovery to the numerous attempts at deciphering it, has been a testament to the enigmatic charm of the unknown. Its allure lies in its enduring mystery, a puzzle that captivates scholars and mystery lovers alike. Despite the relentless efforts, the manuscript holds its secrets close, a cipher unbroken, a riddle unsolved. The Voynich Manuscript, a puzzle that remains unsolved, a testament to the enduring mystery of the unknown.